The ACG-01 or the Chimera as it is well known as, is a plane designed and developed by the acoustic people of 4chan. This abomination was created because the people over in 4chan's CEG general chat wanted to see the OC of a plane make it into ace combat but couldn't for obvious reasons. Anyways, the community simply threw a lot of their collectively gathered money at the dev of Project Winman and it became a permanent fixture of the game. So let's take a look at this unusual, yet realistically designed aircraft. As the name Chimera suggests, this plane is a combination of at least three different planes, namely the Su-57, F-16 Extra Large and the 6th Generation Tempest. What you get is a plane with a massive surface area while also looking sleek and stealthy like any 5th generation fighter. Now we have to understand that this plane, like many other end game planes in this game, is labeled as a prototype. Most people will think that if the plane has the prototype designation, it is somehow an overpowered super fighter that can win them the game. This however, is a lie. While the Chimera does have access to dual machine guns, MLAAs and SAAs. It is primarily a fast ground attacker. If you try to use this plane for primarily dog fighting, you will notice its main weakness. It is a big target, making you more susceptible to getting hit by missiles and has the maneuverability of a turkey. When I mean turkey, it is slow compared to other prototypes, has a wide turn radius and has one of the slowest AOA rates in the game. By going through the weapons that we should use, we must understand what kind of mission that we will face. If it is a mission with loads of ground targets, the Shimmerer is the plane to use because of its large MLAG count. You can fire 12 of them at once, 14 if you opt for the MLAG2 on the first slot. also have access to the ASM which will be useful in taking down any ship in one go without having to go through each and every one of their hard points. If your mission is primarily air to air, do not bother with this plane because every fighter out there will simply outturn you, making dog fights long slogs that will waste your time. However, if you do feel like a manly man, Use it because I cannot tell you what to do. You can launch up to 12 MLAAs if you decide to use the MLAA 3 in slot 1 and MLAA in slot 2. Slot 1 can also use gun pods for extra gun damage but since you need to point your guns at more maneuverable targets, you might need to use AOA. If you watched my how to videos before, this is the part where I demonstrate how the AOA limiter works with your obeat playing in the background.
personally, if the mission becomes too difficult and dodging is an issue, do not use the AOA limiter and stick with flares. There is no shame in using them as your slow and giant turkey of a plane must do whatever to survive. In conquest mode, the Chimera gets access to the nuke and the RDBM. If you use the RDBM, fire them at any target you desire and watch it stick to your enemies or blow up prematurely on large clusters of targets. To activate this special missile, press the fire button again and watch it explode. For skin customization, there really isn't much to choose from as there are only two options and both of them are for Monarch. If you want something different to look at, I recommend installing a skin mod of your choosing. With that out of the way, I have covered everything you need to know about the Chimera. So go out there, bring destruction on any ground target and ship, and prove to the world's defense contractors that the collective hive mind of the internet can make a credible fighter plane. You are flying the plane that was designed and gifted to Monarch after all. Thank you so much for watching. I have many more of these how-to videos planned for the future so have a good day in the meantime. Comment and subscribe if you wish to see more of what I have to offer. See you in the next one.